You see this? That's nothing new. I talk to you guys a lot as I'm leaving the house. But this time, it's because I'm going to Hawaii. So I'm about to call an Uber, jump in the cab. I'm gone like every week, but this time, I wanna see my entire family, my parents, my dad and stepmom are renewing their vows. They've been together for like 25 years, so kudos to them. You guys ready to go to Hawaii? I'm so excited to take you there. I've only been there once, and I've never been to Maui. Surf's up, dude. This is the best day to travel. I feel like I got a lot going for me. If you guys, that's just, you know when you feel like everything is working for you? I mean, I am walking through the airport with a giant ass rig and people are looking at me, but I've been long over that. Um, the reason is because is LAX last night was insanely busy. It was like 11.30 and I just passed by and there's traffic nonstop. I had no line at Delta, it is priority. No line, walked straight to the counter. And then I had no line at TSA check. I was pre-check, so just walked right through. Literally, took five minutes. I feel like it's gonna be a good trip. All we need now is a complimentary upgrade. Cross your fingers. Let's go see if I got upgraded. I just got a good feeling about things. I'm gonna put on my best charm, my best smile. I might slip her some Optimum Nutrition protein samples, and hopefully she upgrades me. It's because this is about a six hour flight. And I really would like to be upgraded for this. How I'm long have you been doing it? I'm on YouTube. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of YouTube vlogs. Oh, so. YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Okay. Guess what? I got upgraded. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> Feel pretty good about that. It's a long flight. She did not want to be in it, but I put it in there anyways. Never, look, never about it. <laughs> My secret. <laughs> always, always, always. It's always on. See, I'm telling you. People either hate you or they love you if you have a camera in your hand. Fortunately, I don't really care. I got my first class ticket. Um, people can hate me. I'm not putting anyone else on. It's just me, right? I'm not doing any damage. Holler at your boy. I'll be in 5C, doing work, watching Netflix. Hopefully they have Wi-Fi. To Hawaii, you would think they would. Everybody gets high sometimes. Aloha. Landed here in Maui. Guess I'm really excited about Maui because the last time I was in Hawaii, it was Oahu, and it was probably the prettiest place I'd ever been. No offense to Fiji. Um, I went to Fiji a couple years ago, and I thought I was gonna be at Hawaii, and it kind of let me down because Hawaii is by far the most gorgeous place. So he's gonna see a side of me probably you haven't seen because I'm gonna be around family. My brother's gonna be coming here. It's my, like I said, my dad and stepmoms. Um, it's their anniversary, so they're renewing vows. But I'm one of seven kids. I'm gonna meet some nieces and nephews. Um, two of my sisters can't make it, and one of my brothers can't make it. But there's still gonna be a lot of family here. I got a big fan. And my brother's actually calling me right now. Hopefully he picked me up. Um, it's about 8.15 here right now. <laughs> What are you guys doing? There's a hurricane here, right? It's a great time to come to Hawaii. It's gonna be a great time. Hopefully it's not raining. If it's raining this entire time, I'm gonna be freaking pissed. Well, we went downtown, bought tickets, and played pool for a little bit, and then went to the movie. We're downtown. heading to the Olivine Pools. Younger brother, older brother, younger brother. This is Lauren, she has a name, not just wife. <laughs> older brother, wife, Nissa. Steve, where's your wife? Um, she's busy today. She she's couldn't in make the it. Ocean. She she's a mermaid. <laughs> um, we are actually yeah gonna go to hike to the Olivine pools. We heard they're pretty cool. Lauren said they were awesome. Nissa, have you been there too? Nope. All right, Who so this about pine trees this vlog Hawaii? will not only be introducing you guys to my family, but also cool things to do in Hawaii. But the first things first, you got to put on Bob Marley, and you have to. There we go. Hit it. Now I'm gonna get copyrighted. Great. <laughs> we are now at the start of the hike for the blowhole. We gotta go all the way down there. Super windy day. Pretty cool, except for the fact that there's people that die on this. So, yes, I'm drinking my monster. 
hopefully get an awesome Instagram shot. Cause let's be honest, I'm not doing this hike for nothing. Let's do it. I think I might have to put this to the test. They're probably talking about little kids. All right, at the blowhole, you can see all these people all around right here. I guess the signs, obviously, yeah, I showed you guys. You do not want to get too close to that thing. I'm just waiting for this lady to get stuck right in. If, I, if she does, I'll feel bad, but at least it'll be on YouTube, everyone. Nobody died. I think we're going to head back. We're going to go to, uh, what are they called again? What are the pools called? The Olivine pools. Let's go, one more time. Oh. Aloha, brother. So we made it to the Olivine pools here. Kind of sketchy because big waves come smack up on this. They fill up these pools, but you never really want to uh, be too close. These rocks are super slippery down here. So uh, we're jumping off up there into the pools. There's all sorts of crazy, crazy cool ones up here too. Um, fish everywhere too. So Gabe, my brother-in-law, our stepbrother, he brought his spear gun and he's gonna be jumping in and trying to spear fish too. Maybe not in this one because there's people in there as well, but I'm gonna get a sick Instagram shot here. You better believe it. You've never been over. All right, all right. Today's the big day. We're just following. Renewing the vows. My parents following are renewing their, their the vows. We're here in. What, what, what part of the island are we in? Kihei. Kihei. We were talking about how the Hawaiian Islands came about. It's really pretty amazing. Hey, big guy. Hey, Steve. I was talking to your dad. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice try, though. What? That's what happens when you don't wear them out. Actually, this is what happens when you use spray sunscreen. I actually can vouch for that because I tried it in Lake Powell and it was miserable. I had the worst sunburn of my life. I probably should have told Gabe that, but I didn't know he was using it. Dad, we'll see the Hawaiian shirt here. Get it. Are you nervous at all? Big day. Big day. The last 25 years, accumulation. Wait, when's actually your anniversary? October 3rd. That'll be here before you know it. So, I'm gonna take you guys to a day of eating here. We're starting off at the Hawaiian cinnamon bun place. No, the Hawaiian cinnamon roll place. But I had my first meal about an hour ago because I'm the type of guy that if I get hungry, all hell breaks loose. So, I had my Icon meals. I had, it was a protein pancake. 20 grams protein, 40 grams carbs, three grams fat. I'm getting starving though. So, a couple places I always look for, Starbucks. Reduced fat turkey bacon is my go-to because I know the way this is smelling. You guys can't, can you smell that? Just getting that wafting cinnamon roll smell. If I don't get something to eat fast, I'm gonna hammer about 50 cinnamon rolls. Stay on top of your game. Plan accordingly. Right, I'm sure really hot. <laughs> Goes yeah. in. Probably like freshly Oh, baked. look at that. You guys can taste that from here. And this is what I have to put up with. Meal number two of the day, six ounce of chicken with some watermelon. Back from the beach, haven't had a ton of food today. So far we've had protein pancakes, I've had that reduced turkey fat thing from Starbucks. I did have a bite, one bite of cinnamon bun. I had about four ounces of watermelon and four ounces of chicken. So I'm under my macros for sure. I haven't tallied them up, but I know I'm underneath um, what I should be right now. I'm gonna go work out here in about an hour. So this is my pre-workout meal. Best thing about the island is my, this next meal. I have pokey, six ounces of pokey. Pokey is just raw fish, super healthy, um, with some avocado. I'm gonna do a little rice packet here. Um, for one rice packet, it is 53 grams of carbohydrates, perfect for pre-workout. Gonna heat this up for 90 seconds, boom. It's about 5.35, went and got a good workout today. Came back, took my BCAs, this is all I had. I did not have a post-workout shake today. Um, post-workout shakes to me are about 50-50. Half the time I do them, half the time I don't. Bear with me now. Um, 
I gotta go quickly. So I'm about to show you my post-workout meal. I'm only at 100 grams of protein so far, so I have to eat more protein. My family wants to go get pizza. It's my turn to cook dinner. So <laughs> the fit person I am, I'm taking them to pizza and I'm bringing my own meal. This is gonna be my meal. Boom. Guys, look where I'm at. I'm getting lost. I don't know where I'm at. I'm trying to find the pool. It's an active recovery day for me here in Hawaii. Most of you guys may have questions wondering, Steve, how do I get to Hawaii? And more importantly, what is active rest? So and I'm following the big program right now. That calls for a day of active rest. Today is an active recovery day. Active recovery, some of you guys don't know what that is and I intend to tell you exactly the who, what, where, when, and why about it. Um, right off the bat, active recovery pretty much is just doing something on your day off from weights or training that is less strenuous. So if you're just starting off, your active recovery days might be nothing more than walking. A couple other active rests, activities that you could do, swimming. Swimming is one of my favorite active recovery activities. I'm not the best swimmer, so it quickly turns into a full-fledged workout if I'm not careful. So what I typically do, swim one length of the pool, and then just a nice, easy jog or crawl back, and then I swim again. If I wanted to do high-intensity interval training, and we have that some of that in, the, in your cardio, if you're not doing high interval intensity training, you're kind of missing out on the benefits of that, but if I wanted to do that, I'd be doing something like 20 seconds all out, max effort, 40 seconds rest. So for this, this is just a nice, easy, play in the pool, little swim, maybe going all the way underneath. I think I could do that. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna swim back all the way underwater. You guys be the judge. Guys, just make sure that whatever you're doing for your active recovery day, you're feeling better at the end of it than you did before you started it. So many workouts, you feel crappy at the end of it. That's, that's a good thing. You wanna feel like you've done work. On an active recovery day, we're specifically not wanting to do types of activities that elicit that response, where you feel just 100% gassed after it. You should feel better. So if it's a light walk, a jog, a swim, sports, yoga, hiking, stretching, whatever it is that, that you feel best with, do that. I love getting outside and enjoying nature. That's why this Hawaii trip's been amazing. We've got to do so much outside. Make sure if you can, take your exercise on your, on your active recovery day, take your recovery exercises outside. It's the best way I think to, you know, not just rejuvenate your body, but your mind as well. So those are my tips on active recovery. A couple other things you can do for active rest. One of them, especially when you're in a place that there's a lot of sightseeing to do, go for a walk. Again, half hour to 40 minutes, that qualifies as active recovery. Also, you're seeing the sights. It's an easy way, instead of just driving to your destination, maybe you're gonna go somewhere for lunch, go to the beach, just walk there. Myofascial release is another one. I know this doesn't sound fun. You can go hop on that foam roller and roll it out. If you don't want a foam roll on your own vacation, you can do this. Boom. Do a massage. Nothing beats foam rolling, but you still get the benefits out of it, like a deep tissue massage. So this isn't one of those like relaxing on the beach massages. This is me going and getting work done. Because I travel so much and sit on a plane, even if you just train regularly, you're gonna benefit from either deep tissue massages or some physical therapy. Let's go get a massage. Oh, here we are. Boom! This is this is much better than foam rolling. Any day I'll take this. So one thing I do suggest you guys doing is go on Yelp, look for some of the reviews, look for the type of massages. Here we want a deep tissue sports massage. Also you can do active release technique. That's also a very good one I found super helpful for people that are active like us. So when I do a massage, I just get my underwear. I'm not trying to get my birthday suit. Thank you so much, Ruth. Ruth was great. If you guys are in the Lahaina area, you should definitely come get worked on by her. She was amazing. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you so much. Whew. I absolutely love Hawaiian culture. And yes, Ruth, 
was a Howley from Minnesota. I can call her that because she called herself that. She's been here for five years. The thing I love, like that Aloha there at the end, like that that is that is culture here. Like Aloha isn't just hello, good day, how are you doing, or goodbye. It's like you walk down the street, you see someone, you smile. You ask them how they're doing. Life's slower here. It's amazing. I could definitely live in Maui. And it's just the people, the, the vibe, the beauty. It's just, there's so many things that are magical about Maui. I'm, right now, I'm gonna walk my ass to Choice Cafe. Ruth told me about Choice. I'm gonna get an acai bowl, show you guys a little bit more about what I eat on a rest day. This may have been a little bit longer of a walk than I thought. And I will say this, even though it's only like, I think 88 is the high, feels like it's about 100 because the freaking humidity here. But it's good for your skin, I guess, except for if it was it right there. That's not cool. Rolling into Choice Bar. I feel like no matter where in the world you go, you can always ask people at the gym or your massage lady about healthy places to eat. And I've been prepping a lot of my meals here. It's been about 70-30, I would say. So eating out and enjoying myself 30% of the time, eating prep meals and breakfast 70% um, of the time. And 90% of the time, that works every time. Yes, that is what I'm talking about right there. I'm on YouTube right now. I go on there after each video and I just answer some of the questions. I'm pretty, I kind of troll some of them too. But that, that looks amazing. Can I just say, that acai bowl was huge, so I had them split into two servings. Um, I'm gonna look it up using a very generic one on my fitness pal. That being said, a little bit more about my active rest day. I feel like they're essential, so active rest days, um, I take them every Thursday on this big program. We hit a push day, a lower body day, and then an upper body pull day. So I feel like, and that's phase two. If you guys are doing phase one, it's gonna be completely different, building strength. This one's more about hypertrophy. So these active days, rest days, are super important because we're doing abs, we're doing cardio, we're hitting all of these big muscle groups and we have a day off. So we don't want to tax that central nervous system. So active recovery, like I've been showing you and talking to you guys about today, it's really low impact, easy on you, easy on that central nervous system. Um, and I feel like, a lot of people get it wrong as to, you know, they think that they grow, I think they build muscle when they're in the gym. You build muscle outside of the gym in the kitchen when you're recovering. So these active recovery days are super, super important. That being said, I feel like a complete waste of flesh if on a day off from the gym I just lay around and do nothing. I feel like I'm, I've got nothing accomplished. It's not doing anything for my heart, my mind. Um, so I like to at least get out and do something. And one of the other things that I wanted to mention, I think too many people uh, assume that more, more training, even on active recovery days, more work will mean you're gonna lose fat faster, and that's not really really the case. Um, you don't wanna overdo, like I said, you have your central nervous system, you don't wanna overdo your, you know, all of a sudden you've increased your activity level, you've kept your calories the same, which I do. If I have a scheduled active, therapy or I shouldn't say that active recovery day if I have a scheduled active recovery day my macros are exactly the same now if it's a training day that I can't get to the gym then I'll lower my if, you know if it's something that I should be training but you know instead I'm flying and I don't work out at all then I try to back off my calories I was in that acai place guys I've never really had to talk to girls I've always been either dating somebody or you know had somebody that I was interested in I have absolutely zero things and I know you guys aren't interested in my love life but I wrote this note on this napkin to drop off to her and I totally pushed out we're gonna have to go change that I did it that was kind of an adrenaline rush and I didn't necessarily want to do it like like, I didn't want to be a douchebag, so I wrote like, you know, I didn't want to bother you, I know you're doing work, and I, but I left my number. I haven't done that since like, ninth grade, and I know that may be juvenile, many of you guys probably say, you should have just gone and talked to her, but she had her headphones in, like, if I have my headphones in, if I'm at the gym or I'm working, I don't want to be bothered, so I didn't want to be that, that douchebag that bothered somebody, but I did it more or less to, because it was more about fear. Like, I feel like I needed to just overcome that, like, even if, she didn't have a wedding ring on, but even if she's like dating somebody, like, 
I don't care necessarily if she calls me back. I just wanted to see if I could do it, if I could put myself up to that. I think that's kind of a good thing to do. It's like, it's a little bit of adrenaline rush. Like, it's not like surfing like a big wave in Maui, but it's a little bit of an adrenaline rush to go talk to somebody you don't even know. I haven't experienced that in so long, like maybe five or six years since I've experienced that like nervousness. Because I do it at expos all the time. I don't know why that made me nervous. I hope that wasn't douchey. I mean, I don't feel like it was. It was like an honest, like, I wasn't bothering. But that's why I guess I feel always nervous because I don't want people to think I'm a douchebag. Because I'm not gonna lie, I got a cut off shirt. Like, do I look like one? Doesn't matter. I felt like I needed to do it. It was good, especially after the girl on the motorcycle in Vancouver. I kind of looked like a pansy, you know, not even talking to a girl, even though she had a helmet on and she hey, was on a motorcycle. Not the, the best place to try to get a girl's attention. Talking about active rest days still. Guys, this is the best place to take an active rest day. There's, like I said, we've talked about all those different things. Sports, snorkeling. These are the two active rest things that I'm gonna be doing here. So I brought the football, and I've also brought this little baseball catch game. Both are perfect for the water. Get on the beach, you have fun, you're doing your active rest stuff, you're getting a tan. Do this even at home, even if you live in Idaho, Iowa, Denmark, wherever you're at. Do something that's a fun sport that gets you out, gets you being active. That's what we wanna do, just move on active rest days. Woo! Let's go work out our legs.